Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lick MRI, and this is a 60-year-old female with complaints of left knee pain. Pain has gotten worse over the years, and she has an isolated tear of her semimembranosus tendon, something you don't see very often. I saw one of my fellowship near the end, and I've seen a couple more uh, since then, and just a couple weeks ago I had another one, just isolated tear. So not very common, um, but you will see them with other things. So the semimembranosus is right here. This is the muscle, the little dark area is the central tendon, and behind it is the semitendinosus. So semimembranosus in front, semitendinosus behind. Now this is going to go distally, distally, and it's going to attach in the posterior medial tibia. So it's going to go below the knee joint. But here is the semitendinosus. We're going to go down, down. It's going to get in front of the gastrocnemius here. And we're going to go down further, further. Now we see fluid surrounding the semimembranosus. We go down, down. We see it broaden to attach to the tibia. But now, it's looks, uh, now it looks pretty irregular. And then right here, do we really start to lose it a lot? Don't really see it very well. Definitely partially torn there. And another cut down. Really don't see it very well. So it's a high grade partial or complete tear of that semimembranosus tendon. Everything else looks good. We have the pes and serine tendons over here, one, two, three. We have the gastrocnemius over here. It's just this isolated tear of the semitendinosus, or semimembranosus. Now we put up a sagittal view to try to find this on the sagittal view. So we're going to look on the medial side. This is lateral. When you go medial, we see this fluid collection. This is a PD sequence, so fluid is bright on this. And this the semimembranosus here, it comes down and we lose it from here to here. So that bright area is the tear, it's uh, retracted back a little bit. And here we go again, this is it. So it's stripped off and pulled back a little bit. Uh, but it really is best seen in the axial images. And that's it, so an isolated tear, this is the second one over the last couple of weeks, um, of the semimembranosus tendon at the attachment to the tibia. Thank you very much.